chapter 5 in class exercise 1 problem 516 determine the tension in the cable and the horizontal and vertical components of reaction of the pin a the pulley at d is frictionless and cylinder weighs 80 pound so this is the problem of two dimension uh, rigid body e equilibrium so first step is we define our coordinate system so we define x axis positive going right we define y axis positive going up and any moment counterclockwise that is positive and the position clockwise moment is negative Three equations of equilibrium that we have are sum of the forces in x equal to zero, sum of the forces in y direction equal to zero, and sum of moments about any point equal to zero. So these are the three equations. So step number one, we define the coordinate system. Step number two, let's simplify this diagram and, and draw a free body diagram. So at, these are the four points, which are A, B, uh, this uh, bracket here, and C. So A, B, that point, and C. So at A, we have a pin, and pin has two support reactions, AX and AY. At B, we have this cable. Cable has always supports the tension load, which goes away from the point. So this is tension force at the cable. Now this pulley is frictionless. Whenever we see that word frictionless pulley, that means the cable at both ends of the pulley uh, has the same tension. Okay, so if this is T, then this tension is also T, which is tension in, in this cable here. And the last one that we need to draw here in our free body diagram is the weight of cylinder at C, WC, that is 80 pound. We can also add the distances here. So this distance is 5 feet. This distance is 5 feet. And this distance is 3 feet. For this angle, we have been given the angle using this triangle method. So this is 1, this is 2, then using uh, Pythagoras theorem, this side is square root 5, which is square root of 2 square plus 1. So 4 plus 1, square root of that is 5. So that's that dimension. Okay, so we will uh, write that here as well. So this will help us to reduce the force into horizontal and vertical components. Okay, so we are all set now. And now we have, we need to identify our unknowns. So our unknowns are AX, AY, and t. This t are same. So if you solve for this t, it's like this is exactly the same force. So we have three unknowns. And those are ax, ay, and t. And the good thing is we have three equations of equilibrium. That means we can solve the problem. If we had more number of unknowns, such as four, then we, are, we could have not solved that problem. So let's work on it and now apply one of the equations of equilibrium. If we, now this t, is vertical but this component of the T on the other cable is at an angle so this T has both horizontal and vertical components so we can actually resolve this T into horizontal and vertical components if you like so we can say that this is vertical component of this T which is 2 divided by square root 5 so vertical side 2 divided by square root 5 multiplied by T and that's point upward and the horizontal component will point left and that will be 1 divided by square root of 5 multiplied by t. So now instead of this force here, we have horizontal and vertical force forces. Now we already have one horizontal force Ax and one vertical force Ay. That means if we apply either of these two equations, we will not be able to solve them, solve for any one of the unknowns straightforward because we will have two unknowns in either of in both of these equations. So we will start with sum of moments equation. So first step is let's apply sum of moments at A equals zero. And we have selected this point A. 
because when we do that then the moment of a x and a y about a is zero because both these forces pass through that point remember that when a force passes through a point its moment about that force about that point is zero so to take the that advantage to eliminate two unknowns we have intentionally written the sum of moments equ equation about a so now when we do that the we need to consider the moment because of this vertical t and a so that is t times the distance between them is 5 and that's counterclockwise so that's positive there is no moment of horizontal component of this t so this does not contribute for any moment however this will so plus 2 divided by square root of 5 t that's the force multiplied by the distance 5 plus 5 10 feet that is also counterclockwise so this force results in counterclockwise moment and third 80 pounds moment about a is 80 multiplied by 5 plus 5 plus 3 which is 13 but this results in clockwise rotation so remember our steering wheel model so if center of the steering wheel is at a and if you pull the steering wheel down it will have its clockwise motion so it's minus 80 times 13 equals 0 so this will help us to solve for t so t is 74.6 panel that's our first unknown now once we get t we can easily apply uh, either of those remaining two equations so when we apply sum of forces in x direction by the way we should have used the sign convention that counterclockwise is positive going right is positive sum of the forces about x equal to zero that's our second e uh, first equation of the equilibrium and the horizontal forces are ax going right but then this component which is going wrong uh, so it's going um, left and that is equal to zero now t is no longer unknown we have already solved for that so we can substitute this number here 74.6 so ax will be 61.3 pounds and we get the positive number that means this assumption of ax going right is correct and the last part is using our third equation of equilibrium that is sum of forces in vertical direction equal to zero going up is positive and the forces vertical forces are a y there are four forces plus t minus uh, sorry plus vertical component of the other force minus 80 equals zero uh, so there is this force is not 61.3 this force is actually 33.4 pounds and when we substitute value of t here and we solve for a y this force is 61.3 pounds uh, sorry for the uh, sorry for here so we have solved for three unknowns using three equations of equilibrium so let's look at the problem so what we have done is we define the coordinate system we have written equations of equilibrium we have identified the support reactions and unknown tension forces such as ax ay and t and then we have indicated the known forces such as the weight of the cylinder and then applied third support reaction at a to eliminate those two unknowns then support react uh, first equation of equilibrium and then the second equation of equilibrium and we have solved for this three unknowns uh, one two and three using our equations thank you